There you go. Steaming hot breakfast pizza. So let's go up and go in. Okay. As you can see, everything is covered in ice. Um, and Emily and I have decided to hunker down here at the house um, for pretty much the whole weekend. It, it's Thursday, I believe. I'm there. <laughs> sure. Um, it's Thursday. They're calling for rain and ice the rest of today. Um, turning to snow tonight, a bunch of snow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hunker down here, but I thought it'd be fun um, to go ahead and fire up that pizza oven. So. I'm okay. I've got a pretty good fire burning in there, so I'm going to take you up really close um, and show you what it looks like on the inside of the oven. Now, again, the smoke goes up the very front here, um, right, right before these fire bricks, so right here is where the smoke is going up that chimney. Um, so basically, the cold air is coming across the floor here and the heat is going out the top or the smoke is going out the top. That's a nice little fire. Um, here in just a couple minutes I'm going to push that all the way to the back and then I'm going to fill this entire oven with wood all the way to the front and then allow that fire to work itself back to the front again um, because it can only burn on the, the fire line. There's only so much oxygen so everything behind the fire line just turns to charcoal. So I want everything else to turn to charcoal, um, build a big bed of embers in there, raise the temperature of this oven up. Tonight, right before I go to bed, I'll come out and close this and leave that just with the one door, the steel door, and I'll lean that door with the top in and the bottom out so that it still gets a little bit of oxygen to keep burning, um, but so I can slow it down so it don't burn out while I'm sleeping. Anyway, Enjoy. Okay, well it's gotten darker on me. Um, really nasty out here. I've got a really good fire burning now. I know it won't go out. What I'm gonna do is just punch that fire back a little bit. And this will really make it take off. But I've got plenty of wood in there. plenty of wood in there um, to keep this fire burning all night long if I close it up. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see the fire is really starting to roll off the front now. But I'm going to take that metal door and put it on there and just leave the top closed, bottom open a little bit. It'll still continue to burn, but it'll burn a lot slower. What that'll do is it'll It'll block out that heavy airflow all night. It won't burn real hot, but it'll give that heat time to sink deeper and deeper into that surface. Remember, this firebox weighs two tons, so it takes a long time to get that heat to go back in deep. There. You can still see it's glowing underneath. Um, it'll damper it down a lot, and I'll check back in the morning. And cook some pizza. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's the next day, and we did get a bunch of snow last night, um, and it continues to snow. I think it's supposed to until 3 or 4 o'clock today. I've got this oven up to a really good temperature, and what I want to do is bring you in and show you. It's not quite up to the cooking temperature, but it's really hot. I'm getting a complete combustion now. Every bit of, um, like you can see, there's no smoke coming out the top anymore. It's getting a nice burn, burning up all the smoke before it comes out the top. So anyway, let's bring it in and I'll get you up real close and show you how it burns and then I'm gonna push okay. that fire to the back. I've got you down real low so that you can see the way the air comes in the bottom and feeds that fire and then how the fire is burning up all the smoke so all the smoke is getting completely burned up as it rolls to the front as fire now what i'm going to do is i'm going to push that fire to the back so 
the red line that you see is the fire that's that's using up all the oxygen and then right behind that it looks so dark that's all just charcoal laying back there so once i stir this up and get some really fresh wood to the front it's really going to take off and the fire is going to come rolling this camera can only stay this close so long um, so i'm going to get busy and get it pushed back So you can see I'm probably three foot back to where the ashes start. And then there's another, and that's charcoal back there. Everything is charcoal. Um, so now it's really burning aggressively and way too hot to be cooking in, but this will help push the oven temperature up as well. Um, and I'm thinking maybe in an hour or two, it'll be burned down and I'll be able to start to uh, cook in there. So anyway, I just wanted you to see this portion of it as well i'm going to keep my mouth shut and let you just watch it burn I'd, I'd love to sit and just watch that fire as long as this camera don't overheat it's really hot in this spot anyway we'll check back hey, shortly here pizza i'm not going to talk much i'm just going to throw it together and then we'll get in the backyard and cook it melt some snow. You can check over here. I don't even know if we have any. I didn't think about it. Melt some snow. We got soda. Is there something in there? Good. Yeah. Probably not real cold. You know what? There is one outside too. You can see if it's frozen. Yeah. There's one still in the snow bank. This side, about halfway. You might have to use a shovel to find it. Really? Yeah, because it's underneath everything that just fell. I'll find it in a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It'll be good if it's not frozen. crust to make it like toast. <laughs> and then sausage gravy for sauce. Thank <laughs> you. 
Started out with two dozen. Whoa. Is that all going on there? Probably not. <laughs> There's probably not room for it all. Pound of bacon. The bacon and sausage. Sausage. I think all these two things, like, what is that supposed to mean? The yard the other day? 30 or 40 probably. Jeez. She said they come up and knock on the window at the house. That's hilarious. And then just a little cheddar cheese to hold it all together. Oh. We just take it out back and cook it. Okay, here we go. We've got a breakfast pizza going into the oven. I'm going to put it in and then I'll bring you over real close so you can watch it cook. crust is already starting to cook. You can see the steam coming off of it. Temperature of the oven's pretty perfect. Sometimes when that butter drips on the floor it'll stick just a little bit, but I think I'm good. I'm almost ready to start to turn it. You can see the back pushing up. Oven temperature is probably pretty close to perfect. Cooking really good. That's definitely done. I'm just going to let it cook just a little bit more, brown that crust just a little bit more.
scooted it back just a little bit. That thing probably weighs 10 pounds. That's how I want the crust to look right there. And you can see the butter popping up here. That's pretty much perfect. Go. Steaming hot breakfast pizza. So let's go up and dig in.